What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Folks, I was looking at a photo. It was taken in 2023 of Indy's space program, the Chandrayaan-3. Now, it has the, the rover as well as the lander. I want to show you this photo. What's sad about this is that they're another country that's lying about, you know, their photos and what's actually in the photos. And the trickery is no different than NASA's. So I don't know if they're learning from each other's playbooks here, what the difference is. But let's just jump right into this because I think you're going to find this fascinating. Okay, so here it is. The Chandrayaan-3 is India's third lunar mission, successfully landing on the moon's south pole on August 23rd, 2023, with the objectives of demonstrating safe, soft landing capabilities and conducting scientific operation. So you can see the mission objectives right here. Safe, soft landing rover exploration and scientific payloads conduct various scientific investigations to analyze the lunar surface's composition and characteristics yeah it's a little bit more than that so this is the photo here we're going to analyze and i've got a much clearer one and i'll show you that in a second now folks you can see right here and i'm sure i'm going to butcher these names but it's vikram as seen by pregyon it says right here on the right an image of chandrayaan 3's mission vikram lander taken by the missions to on rover. So the rover is actually looking at the lander, right? Now you can see here in the smaller pitch on the right, there's supposed to be two instruments, the ILSA and the CHASTE. There's two of them there, okay? There's two instruments already on the ground. And you can see it on the larger photo too. Here's what's funny. Here's the much clearer photo. And folks, I'm looking at this photo, I'm going, how do people get away with this? But most people do not question. We're going to look at this photo. In fact, I can go ahead and zoom into this. And my question to you folks, do you see anything in here that gives it away that it may be fake? And I don't mean that they did not go to the moon. They definitely went to the moon. Okay. Do you see anything in here that looks, you know, does it look absolutely normal to you folks? Does it look like it's doctored up at all? Let's get right into it. I want to show you something pretty interesting. Now, folks, this is what's funny. I want you to pay attention to this because this is very deceiving. When you see this, I'm going to make this line just a little thicker here so we can make the point. Anyway, go, go from left to right. We're going to go like this. Folks, you see that yellow line? That is basically the flat ground where the lander is. What you're seeing here in the background, okay, is doing this. It's going straight up. This is not flat lunar surface. So picture like the L right here. You can see where it joins at this flat line, this horizontal line, and goes straight up. So what are we looking at here? If we were to look at this top piece right here at the edge of this ground, supposedly, okay, this is not ground. This is a manipulation. What you're seeing in this area right here and all the way next to, and we're just going to jump to the other side, the other side right here. This is all vertical manipulation. What gave this away is a couple of things right off the bat. Is this right here on the leg. What is going on here with the leg? Okay. Do you see that? What is with this jagged area that's doing this here? Okay. What, what are we talking about here, folks? Look at this area right here on this leg. You can see it right here. The actual one, the furthest one in the back. It's a thin pole, basically. Okay. You can see it right there. And then it gets a little bit wider and goes up, right? So what's with the jagged area here? That is manipulation, folks. That's first one right there. And then this area right here. Again, they want you to believe that this is like just going out this way. In other words, it's just a continuation of the foreground. It is not this area. This is wild because this is where they screwed up and didn't cover the whole thing up. Now, there's many areas in here that you will see that you can see little bits and pieces of white, okay? And there's actually other objects sitting here as well, like this area. Look carefully inside this circle right here. I'm going to bring that up for you. Notice this area right here. Oh, you can just see it's blurred. It's just, you can see like areas of higher surface, if you will. You can see something's there, rectangular, something of that sort. And they basically blurted out and basically distorted that area, right? Something over here on the far right. You can see it right here. 
Okay. Also, what's over here? Is there anything in this area? Oh, absolutely. This gets really, really crazy, folks. I'm just going to circle these areas, and then I'm going to show you with it enhanced, because this gets really wild, these two things. There's something pretty large sitting right here to the left of it and slightly down. You can see it right here. Notice this area here. It's white. It should be right about here. Gets a little dark area, but then it goes around. You'll see this in a minute. It's just wild. Something very faint, but it's white. And we're going to make this much lighter for you folks. And notice all of this really brightened up areas right here. Below all these circles, underneath the lander. Oh, it's just absolutely wild. By putting this white in the areas on these legs, you can see on the far left leg right here, by putting that lighted area really bright, they can join the fake background onto it and you wouldn't be none the wiser, but they should have done it to this area right here on the front leg, the furthest to the camera. They screwed up royally. All right, so I'm going to show you this one enhanced, and then I'm going to show you the same photo of more enhancement. This is where it gets crazy, okay? Notice these areas right here, as I said. Check this out. This little sliver, and then you see this white object or objects. We don't know if it's objects or object. Again, folks, this is a vertical manipulation. This is not real. I want you to envision just a bunch of items laying on the ground, and that's all. None of this is real. This is not real ground. Watch this. I'm going to fully enhance this. The areas I've showed you right here next to the lander's leg. Here. This object here I was telling you about earlier to the right. And folks, you got to look at the shape of this thing. There's all kinds of wild stuff in this photo. Unfortunately, we can't see it clear enough because... They've done their best to block it out, sanitize it out. You can see other white items sitting here. This area right here. Now, this is where it gets crazier, folks. Bounce over to the left side of this lander and check this out. This is crazy. This is whole area. And I want you to look at specifically right in the back of this oval I'm drawing up near the darkened area. You can see like shapes, outline shapes. These objects are objects here. Will look like pipes and this weird other object. There's one, two, three, four, five or six items here. Small right there. And this item, this is crazy. What item Right here, it looks like it's like it got a curve to it, like some kind of bracket, like it's part of something. Right here. And it's holding this up off the ground. Okay. You see that? What is that? I mean, how is that natural? Look at the bottom here on the bottom left. These objects right here. Of course, this is a highly contrasted, whited out area. Keep that in mind. Okay. You can see something right here. Notice how also we can see around each leg, it looks like this really, really fuzzy. There's a reason for that. Because they had this manipulation go right up against these legs. They're doing everything they can to hide what's here. Now, I want to take you over to the other photo, which is absolutely crazy as well. Some areas I could bring it a little bit better. Tried a little bit different strategy. You can see these areas. Again, looking at the whited areas. And this area right here, this is crazy right here. It's the way they didn't go over this whited area right here. What you're seeing in between that area, all that white, there's something standing right here. And maybe mostly pot item. I don't know what it is. But anyway, just envision items sitting on the ground. Like this item right here. 
It could be part of something larger. But again, this here, not real. This is completely fake. Just picture objects on a flat ground right here. Just objects in the ground. What are all of this vertical manipulation? It's crap, folks. You know, it's, it's, it's nothing but deception in the biggest way. I'm going to take you over to this one now. And folks, check this out. Let's zoom into this. Look at this. This is just absolutely crazy. You can see some of the areas are not quite like the other one was, only because I did it quickly. So I didn't get out the detail I would like to have gotten. This area here. Now I showed you that right here. This has got a little bit more detail to it right here in that circle. Okay. But these other objects, absolutely. Here, especially in this area here where they didn't quite cover it all up. You can say that was their first screw up. And then you've got this leg right here, which was not done properly at all. They completely screwed that up. That's what made me go after this photo. Of course, I know most of them are lying anyway. If this and again, we're looking at a ground that does this. I'm going to draw a line right here on the bottom. This is straight up. This is manipulation that's straight up. And the ground is actually flat, obviously. But look at the objects. I'm going to go around each one of these and check this out. See this? Especially this piece right here. Wow, this is crazy. And not to mention, when you look at this, you don't see this area here that I had in the other photo. It's brighter and it's got slightly more detail right here in the back. Let me show you the other one again. Look at some of the detail in here. You can see there's something white with shape to it. There's something there. Check that out. Okay. Back out again. Again, nothing but brickle, manipulation, sanitization, call it what you like. It's absolutely sad that they got to lie to the public. But think about it. What country has gone up there or to Mars and hasn't lied to their people? That's what's sad. Now, keep in mind, they're going up there for their own exploration. For what reason? To get their own technology, to do more scientific studies, so on and so forth, to see what this stuff is actually made out of. But here's the photo right here, folks. I'm just going to back out a hair bit. Have a look at that. I'm going to move this over just a hair bit. I'm going to put this right, right here. Folks can have a look at it better like that. Pause it anywhere. I'm going to show you the other one. Get rid of all of these. And we're going to back out a hair. Let me just back up. There you go. And again, folks, we're looking at all of these mess ups they did here in this so-called background, which is fabricated, but the legs to the lander, the super bright areas, things they don't want you to see folks. This is all, again, I call it a vertical manipulation. It's actually flat, but there's atoms just sitting on the ground there. either dilapidated or whatever, just laying on the ground. They're trying to make it look like it's all flat going all the way back. It's not. You can tell just by looking at this photo. So give me your thoughts on that. And there you go. Folks, a lot of people will say, you know, why would they lie? Here's the thing. A lot of the countries are going to the moon. For what reason? We went to the moon. We've seen all kinds of crazy stuff that NASA is looking at. These astronauts are looking at. They're doing the same thing. Now, I'm not picking on uh, India. You know, we got uh, China. Uh, ourselves, meaning the United States, there's all kinds of countries going to the moon. A few years ago, up to this point. So I'm not picking on any particular, you know, country, but the fact that these people will lie to their own people, their own citizens, that's crazy. Absolutely crazy. You know, how much tax dollars are coming out of your pocket and my pocket to fund this only to get this much information out of what they're really doing up there. That's the key. And that's sad. 
Now, some people have said in the past, or even now, I'm, I'm still reading this, which is absolutely absurd. We never went to the moon. These people are never going to the moon. BS. Absolute BS. We've been to the moon. Even if I was to grant that, like, man has never set foot on the moon. That's fine. You want to believe that? Believe that. They still took a bunch of photos of what's on the ground when they do land there. They've also taken aerial, meaning satellite photographs. We've done the moon videos uh, just lately. Crazy stuff all over the surface of the moon. So even if we were to say, okay, I'll grant you that we never went to the moon, which I believe 100% we did, judging on the photos I've analyzed in the past showing these astronauts, you know, working next to the moon buggy, you see the other astronaut taking a picture from far away. Why would they take a picture from far away when they should be taken up close, meaning they're doing core samples on the ground or doing prepping these tests to do? Instead, he's standing way back. Why? Once you enhance the photo, you can see what looks like structures and all kinds of stuff laying there. That's what they're analyzing. That's what they're researching. And he probably wanted to take a picture of the size of these objects compared to the lunar buggy and as well as the, the astronaut. That's why he stood back and took this photo. He like literally walked away from him and took these photos. Reconnaissance missions. That's what they're there for, to take this technology or test it, take pieces with them. Take it back to Earth so they can study this alloys or metals or electronics or whatever it may be. I don't care what it is. The point is every nation who's going to Mars, Moon, or going there for a reason, and not spending billions upon billions of dollars to go to these places just because, eh, just seems like the thing to do. I know they're going to say it's space exploration. I don't buy that. It's that, but it's much, much, much more, right? Folks, drop your comments down below. Let me know what you think. I'm always curious to see what you've got to say. Please like and share the video is always appreciated. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Folks, I got another good one coming up for you. The moon and Mars and just crazy stuff. So stay tuned for that. Anyway, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.